Well, this is old Spoon Fed here. We're going to do a little rail fanning today. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, back here at camp. Yeah. I think I hear one coming. So if she happens to stop here at this sweet spot, we're going to check her out. We'll even take a look at the load if we can. Alright. I usually don't like doing this in the daytime. But man, the picture is just so much better. And, and the change, they look so much more crisp. Oh, gotta watch out for snakes. Them fuckers ain't started going for hibernation yet. They, they still everywhere. Alright. Oh, here we are, in that spot. Yeah, oh, what we got down there? I really can't tell, but I see something. Red over red on all three. Well, you know, I visited my old granny. 20 years ago, and, you know, there ain't nothing like being in Granny's kitchen. Boy, I tell you, nothing like being in Granny's kitchen. So I was sitting there talking to Granny, and she said, son, what's wrong with you? I said, there ain't nothing wrong with me, Granny. She says, well, you, you can do so much with yourself. Which is true. You know, we came from a good family. Nice, nice, good family. Uh, the whole family was well educated. Uh, they all had that money. Uh, no, they worked for it. Don't get me wrong. They worked for it. It wasn't no silver spoon family. You had to work for what you wanted. But family come together and they give you the tools for whatever you needed to be able to learn and develop and, and be somebody. Well, before I could even answer, my old daddy spoke up and he said, Granny, boy, here's a hobo. Yep. He's a hobo. He'll never amount to nothing. He'll never have nothing. But he's gonna see everything. And he's never gonna regret it. He's gonna love every bit of it. And you know, back then when he said that, the only thing I heard was hobo. And I was very negative and, and didn't really know what he was talking about, you know. Well, I can honestly say, yeah, I've seen a lot of places. And he was right about everything, about it all. Except I do have regret. I do have regret, you know. Uh, would I change anything? Ah, would I change it? Yeah, I would. I'd change it. I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to better themselves, you know? But just the card I was playing, and I'm enjoying my life. I'm, I'm happy, you know? I'm happy with the, the things I got. Uh, yeah, I went the other route, I could have had so much, I could have had it all, but who really wants it all, you know, who wants it all, I don't want it all, you know, I, I enjoy a few things here and there, and, and, and everything's new, you know, it's all new, even the old stuff's new to me, because I'm just now getting to it, <laughs> oh yeah, but, anyhow, here's that train,
Yeah, I trying to build me a fire last night. And this old boy pulls up. He had the red light here. He pulls up to me. Hold up one second. boy pulls up to me I'm trying to start my fire can't get my fire lit like some old amateur out here amateur night well he pulls up and gets out of the old engine comes over gives me a six pack of water look at this water let me focus in on it he gives me a six pack of water Smoked the cigarette with me. We shoot the shit for a little bit. He turns out to be a pretty good old boy. He gets the green light, so he jumps back in his, his engine and all this going said he was heading towards Chicago. Well, uh, I just wanted to say for that old boy that gave me that water, now this water right here looks like it rolled on the outside of that train for a couple months. Looked like it had a hard journey getting where it was going. But for me and every hobo out there that you've ever given water to, old fella, we thank you, man. We do thank you. I mean, water is the most precious thing you can give a man, you know, especially a hobo with nothing that's thirsty out here just trying to live in life. I want to say thank you, buddy. You are all right. Stabilization. Them old train cars come by, my old legs start to jumping, my knees start to shaking. Look like I'm dancing out here, but I just, boy, I enjoy these trains. Yeah, I enjoy these trains. Yeah. Managed to find me a little job today. Did me a little yard, mowed me a yard. Well, I didn't find it. The yard found me. <laughs> that was crazy, but I am appreciative. A little extra money in my pocket. Uh, Thursday, I do have a little work, a little side work coming up, hopefully. Use that to get me a new pair of boots. What? All right, y'all enjoy y'all's evening. Well, old Spoonie here. I won't tell you. Craziest thing to happen. I was walking back to McDonald's, get me one of them old sausage biscuits. And the lady pulls up, and she says, hey, I'll give you $25. You'll mow my yard. 
you say I got the mower and the gas, I just need somebody to mow it. And I said, well, yes, ma'am, I sure do that. I have no problems, I'd love to. Now, you kind of wondering, well, how would somebody just pick somebody out on the side of the road walking and ask them to fucking mow their yard? Well, I've been down, I've been down at the, the Home Depot parking lot every morning for a couple of hours, you know, with a sign saying I'm just looking for a couple hours work. And some days I hit, some days I miss, but thinking that, that's probably the case there. Now, uh, really not good. It's a good thing, but it's not good, you know, it's just, if the community starts, they start noticing here in the community, and you know, so I don't want no trouble or no problem. So uh, that's why I like to not stay too long in one city, one state, one. You know, I like to keep moving, keep going, and not not stagnate. But I just want to say, and this is a great little town. Well, I sure appreciate y'all. So appreciate it. Well, let me mow this yard. Here we go. Boom.